So, students, welcome. In last lecture, we have seen the birth control possibilities, con uh, contraceptives, what are the problems there, uh, what can you, what are the alternatives for birth controlling. We have seen that point and last uh, we have seen that in TB also, medical termination of pregnancy and also uh, the diseases. There are uh, uh, cyphalis disease, then gonorrhea disease we have seen in last lecture. Today we will see the next point that is called as infertility. So if we see the countries like uh, India there is a problem of infertility because of less, less sex education, some religious practices, some in some religion what happens in young age, means in teenage age, there is a, they are, uh, they are being engaged or they are being uh, married and uh, it causes some problem because reproductive tract of such a child are not developed and suppose intercourse is developed in this time then they, they will have a problem. Sometimes hormonal problems are all imbalance is there, sometimes there is a problem of genetic problem is there, sometimes psychological problems are there, sometimes physical problems are there. So in India if you see there is a problem of infertility. There is a problem of infertility. And if we define infertility, when there is an inability to conceive a child, when there is an inability to conceive a child under uh, by performing, after performing sexual intercourse, after marriage up to one year, two years and if there is no conservation in that particular woman then we can say that if uh, the male or a female is infertile one because if there is no conservation then problem may lies in the male there may be problems in uh, male of about sperm production about the size of the penis any disease to the penis so there is problem in male also and female also. There may be problem in over a ova production, ovum production. There may be pro problem in polypian tube. There may be blockage. There may be problem in uh, uterus. Sometimes what happen? Endometrium layer or some. Uh, there is a extra. There is a extra tissue on the ovaries also in the uh, uterus also or it may be on in fallopian tube also then there is a problem of infertility there is a problem of infertility so causes of infertility causes of infertility there may be physical causes there may be psychological causes Psychological reason, it may be congenital region, then uh, it may, there may be diseases. So, there are many problems, there are many problems. Then, immunological problem is also there, immunological. If you see in, in physical problem, PCOS in ladies, this PCOS uh, problem is there, means polycystic ovary syndrome. Polycystic ovary syndrome is there. Uh, and if suppose PCO is there, then conservation problem is there or ovum production, yeah, ovum production, uh, it is a block. 
or uh, you cannot perform the own production or oogenesis there is a problem of oogenesis or the transfer of ova so co-genital problem may be there some diseases may be there in the genital tract in genital organ then immunological problem may be there then psychological problems in some women or in men psychologically they can think i am infertile or i cannot perform sex or some ladies have an psychology that i cannot conceive the child i cannot conceive the child means you know conception the person or the couple should be positive should be positive they can uh, they do not they should not think negatively and so this is psychological problem in some couple there is a psychological problem so in this infertility this infertility can be avoided by or there are many alternatives if suppose a couple has a couple in a couple a male or a female has a problem on infertility then there are many alternatives today's uh, in today's uh, world there are many alternatives in uh, advanced science so we will see what alternatives there are there for the infertility alternative for infertility first of all we will see ivf in ivf we can we say that there is a in vitro fertilization there is a in vitro fertilization fertilization when brought about in sperm and ova outside the body then that is called as in vitro fertilization outside the body outside the body fertilization of sperm and ova ova or ova male gamete of filling gamete when performed outside the body then that is called as what that is called as ivf because in some ladies there is a transfer there is a blockage there may be some reason there may be some biological reason in the genital organ and uh, they this sperm and ovum cannot meet in the fallopian tube then what, uh, what in this technique what is done the ovum from the female is also derived outside then the sperm of the male is connected of that particular couple only then what happens in the test tube they are collected and what happens they are made in a test tube or in a uh, petri dish or in a uh, sterilized laboratory condition in sterilized laboratorical uh, laboratory conditions this sperm and egg or female gamete or ova is made outside and after mating there is a Uh, uh, production or there is a formation of zygote there is a formation of zygote and then this zygote is again transferred to that particular female transfer to female transfer to that female so this is the ivf technique in vivo in vitro fertilization fertilization is carried outside the body of the particular female then that is called as in vitro fertilization in which sperm and ova are fertilized outside the body or in laboratory in a test tube or in a petri dish in the uh, conical flask they are fertilized and they are, the zygote is formed and this zygote is transferred in the female genital tract 
So this is the IVF te technique through which infertility is avoided or infertility problem can be solved. Then next we will see GIP. Zygote intrafolipian transfer. Zygote intrafolipian transfer. In this technique, there is a transfer of zygote. There is a transfer of zygote in the follicular tube of particular female. Then that is called as zygote intrafollicular transfer. What happens if suppose there are blockages in follicular tube? If there is a blockage in follicular tube, what happens if suppose this is a follicular tube? If this is a follicular tube, yes, if suppose this uh, ovary, from this ovary, ovum is formed, it is here, and if suppose here there is a block, here there is a block, then this ovum cannot reach here, the sperm will reach here, but ovary has block here, it cannot reach here, so there is no fertilization and there is no conservation. So, if suppose there is a blockage in the polypian tube, then this technique is performed. The ova from this female is taken outside the body, the sperm from the male is collected and they are fertilized outside the body. And after fertilization, the zygote is formed and this zygote is directly by injection is poured into polypian tube. Or it is injected in the follicular tube of that particular female, and here female is, after injection, then the natural process of embryogenesis begins. The natural process of embryogenesis begins. So, in this GIF technique, zygote transfer is there. Zygote is uh, formed outside the body when there is a collection of uh, female ovum and male sperm. And they are made or fertilized outside the body, uh, outside the body in a laboratory condition, sterilized laboratory condition. And when zygote is formed, it is transferred again in that mother's polypian tube. So this is a GIP technique. Then next we will see. Or it, can, it can be pronounced GIF. It can be pronounced GIF. So in GIF, what happens? There is a gamete intrafolipian transfer. There is a gamete transfer. There is a gamete transfer in polypian tube. Means the long form of GIF is gamete intra polypian transfer. Means gamete is transferred in the polypian tube. So if, if you see in this technique, what happens? The from the donor, from the donor woman, ovum is collected and uh, uh, it is uh, injected in the another female polypian tube. It is injected in the another female follicular tube, and uh, it, this female, another female, provides a suitable conditions, suitable environment, suitable environment for the fertilization and development process, and so a growth of that particular or conservation problem is solved. So when a ovum transfer is done into follicular tube of another woman. Another woman. Then there, uh, that another woman's uh, genital organ has a capability or the 
for the development for the fertilization process a proper environment that another movement can provide so there is a transfer of gamete here there is a transfer of gamete from one mother to other mother from one mother to from one woman to the another woman so if these conditions are performed when in a mother as uh, we see in the first uh, uh, from the uh, when there is a blockage in the ovaries ovaries mean for the pentu when there are blockage in the ovaries then uh, ova and sperm are directly injected into the ovary ova and sperm are directly injected into uh, ovary because of some problems of the uh, blockages in the ovary and then the uh, further process is achieved by this technique then we next point we will see ic sr ic sr in ic si what happen there is a intra cytoplasmic sperm injection intra cytoplasmic cytoplasmic sperm injection means the sperm is transfer single sperm is transfer single sperm is transfer in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm of ova or egg in the cytoplasm of ova and the other penetration of sperm is naturally controlled penetration of sperm is natural and then there is the fertilization and the conservation is solved like this so intracytoplasmic sperm injection through this technique also uh, the infertility problem can be solved then the next ai ai it is not here in india but it is artificial insemination artificial insemination in some males in some females there may ha have a problem suppose we consider male if suppose the penis is short then it has a problem when there is a ejaculation of semen it cannot reach or it cannot enter through the cervix it cannot reach the cervix then there is a problem of the movement of the sperm so this problem can be solved by artificial insemination what happens semen is collected semen is collected in the laboratory and this semen uh, is in uh, is taken in the injection long injection and through this long injection this semen is injected in the female genital tract in the cervix in the uterus also in the cervix and the uterus also means when there is a transfer of semen when there is a transfer of semen which is collected artificially and it is injected in the female genital tract by an injection then that is called as what artificial insemination artificial insemination through this technique also infertility problems can be solved then next technique we will see iui iui intrauterine insemination intrauterine insemination are you are
in IUI technique, what happens if there is an inability, infertility problem? Through this technique also, uh, the, there is a uh, uh, the problem solved of the uh, young ones or the uh, production of the child. So in this technique, what happens? Directly the sperm are injected in the uterus are injected in the uterus of the woman. What we see in AI, artificial insemination, these uh, sperms are injected directly in cervix. Cervix, what is cervix? It is the mouth of the uterus. But in IOI technique, these sperms are directly injected or semen. Or semen is directly injected in the uterus in uterus so there are uh, uh, chances increase after in the uh, when uh, this semen enters the uterus the chances of fertilization of the womb is increased then the next problem uh, next uh, point we will see sperm bank or semen bank Through this sperm bank or semen bank, infertility problem can be solved because if you see there are uh, sperm banks formed in medical sector and in sperm banks or in semen bank, a donor is uh, donating his semen or donating sperm and these sperms are uh, kept under a low temperature and so that they cannot be destroyed they are not destroyed and they can make active after giving for proper temperature and in this sperm bank or semen bank the sperm can survive for many years the sperm can survive for many years suppose in a couple there is a problem in men in men the sperm count is less or the sperms are very weak then that couple can take the semen directly from the sperm bank or the semen bank and through injection through the injection of IUI technique or artificial insemination this semen can be injected directly in the uterus of the female genital tract and that particular female can conceive a child conceive a child so sperm bank and semen bank can also help for the infertility problem then again there is an alternative an option if suppose in couple in both they have a problem both the uh, both the members of the couple if they have a problem in the genital organs or in conservation then what happens the best thing or base alternative is adoption the person can adopt a child a child extra child of other couple or uh, we can see they can adopt the child of their uh, brother also or relative also or from anathashram also so this uh, adoption has an legal process and a legal process and during this legal process, uh, the law says that the person who adopts the child should be financially, financial ability should be good. Then if he can uh, take care of the adopted child, the financial condition of that particular couple is taken into account and then and then they are allowed to adopt a child. And this, uh, in this particular manner, the adoption can be done. Yeah, the child, her and child, after taking this uh, legal condition, legal formalities are uh, provided, then the child have all the rights which are given to the, which are given to the biological child of that particular couple. So, this is also an 
alternative for the infertility so in this way we have completed the completed the completed this chapter now exercise which is given below solve it in your homework book so thanks